throughout history, it has come to be known that an end is merely a beginning in disguise. I love this game. Look at this. This is the best idea ever. When war overtook the entire planet, some thought that the true end had come. However, some saw this end as a new beginning when they realized a group of humans had acquired magical abilities once considered legendary. Tamalik was one of these few. He and his fellow magicians had not only survived the war, but gained new magical powers that allowed them to bring life back. What? To the scorched planet. Oh my goodness. Not all of the magicians that entered this new dawn of magic spent their energies on restoring life to the world. I feel like we're reading this in broken sentences. One called Dragonia, Dragonia, chose to combine his magical peanuts abilities with the shunned ways of technology. What? Technology is shunned. This combination of magic and technology allowed to allowed Dragonia to grow in power and force his evil upon the rest of humanity. Wow. Four brave magicians, Zebu, Tornel, Asina, and Kensu, were determined to stop Dragonia. They forged four swords from the basic elements of wind, fire, water, and thunder. Joining these swords would create the Sword of Chrysalis, the mightiest sword ever created. Before the swords could be combined, Dragonia seized them and hurled them in different directions? No, the, hurled the swords throughout the land. The four magicians thought all hope was lost. They were yet to learn of the prophecy of the penguin sleeping warrior magicians. Two sleeping warrior penguins. Two of them. This prophecy told of two sleeping warrior penguins who would only awaken to oppose the powers of technology once all magical hope had been lost. You are one of these warrior magicians. I can't believe I'm getting this right. And your quest is to find the four swords and join them in order to form the Sword of Chrysalis and stop Dragonia's reign of terror. So that is the premise to this game, I believe. I think we're good now, we're good, we're good. What's going on Shady People, Shady Penguin here with a brand new series known as Retro Shady or Shady Goes Retro, whatever's in the title is what we got going on. We have this fantastic Game Boy Color layout. I commissioned Tito, his link will be in the description. He's a great graphic artist, deserves a lot of recognition and a lot of credit. He's gonna be helping us along this journey of Shady Goes Retro where we're gonna be doing a bunch of things we're going to be doing a bunch of different games. We're starting with Crystals. This is one of my favorite childhood games. Now, these LPs or these Let's Plays are probably going to be rather short compared to other LPs because older games are pretty short in general. However, uh, you guys can feel free to suggest what games you want to see. I'm thinking stuff like Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy Advance. I mean, those these aren't really retro retro because they're not Nintendo, but you can suggest Nintendo games too, of course, of course. Uh, N64, GameCube is eh, I'm not really sure how retro I consider GameCube. Uh, but N64 and back for Nintendo consoles, then consoles like Dreamcast, PS1, stuff like that you could suggest. I have a bunch of games lined up in my mind, in my mind, but I want to see your suggestions, so go ahead using the hashtag, uh, hashtag ShadyGoesRetro in the comment section below, even if that's not the name of the series, that's the hashtag I like, definitely. Uh, and you can suggest whatever games you want to see. I really like this layout. The layout changes colors when we need it to. Right now it's green because it, it matches the Chrysalis logo over up there. So it's fantastic. Uh, it might be down there. I don't know yet. I might change the spot of the face cam. But we're going to go in. Oh, by the way, I'm dressed up in fancy clothes. Because I figured the graphics of these games can be a little bit subpar. So let's go ahead and get fancy with ourselves. Hopefully that brings the... Um, the interest. I don't know. Not that clothes bring any interest. I don't know, man. I'm just going to go ahead and name myself Shady and get it over with. Ah, man. I love this game so much. You guys know the premise of this game now. This game basically plays as a Zelda-esque game. Look at this. 
so many memories. I can't wait to upload this. I can't wait to upload this. Chances are, if you're seeing this, I've already recorded like four or five episodes because I don't want to up. I don't want to start the series until I've gotten like most of it done. So I want to commit. I want to commit. So if you're seeing this, be happy. Look at this. Left, right, down. We're wearing purple. You know it's a good game. Watch out! Somebody's breaking out of a cave. We're just gonna. Oh my gosh. We can't do anything yet. We have nothing. We have, we have force. What is this? We have 48 HP and 34 MP. Hi there! Welcome to the town of Leaf! Yeah, that was me. I'm a bit embarrassed about running away when he broke out of the cave, but really startled me! Alright, that's all you gotta say. Thanks, man. My parents told me about the vampire. He lives up in the mountains. Is that Dragonia? Is Dragonia the vampire? We don't know yet. I'm very... Oh, this is an end. Stay the night. The price is $16. No. Yeah, I have zero money, so I can't stay. This game was originally released on the Nintendo, an NES game, but it was ported out on Game Boy Color. Seriously, one of my favorite games of all time. Zebu lives in a cave northwest of town. I hate living in a cave. All right, thanks, thanks. I think you were a girl, but I spoke as if you were a male. Welcome to the pot shop. Would you like to sell or appraise anything today? I don't have anything yet to sell or appraise. I just got to scout. I got to scout and see what's going on. Buy something. Let's see what you got. Tanned hide increases my defense by three. Carapi carapace shield increases my defense by three. You can't help me with anything. I'm leaving. I'm done. This music is so powerful. I'm sorry if you think the music's too loud. I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it to be honest. Buy something. What do you got? Magic medical herb and antidote. So something to cure poison and something to bring our HP back. I'm assuming using the basic knowledge of RPGs, hoping that it's right. What do you have to say for yourself, man? Since the miller disappeared, nobody can make the windmill work. Without the windmill, there's no way to make flour for bread. Hey, if you find an alarm flute, be careful with it. Those things are loud enough to wake the dead. Oh, uh, so giving us hints. Now, if I'm completely honest, I don't know that I've ever beaten this game or not. I'm not sure. Hey, stop walking on the table. Tamalik is the last of the elders and that saw the war in the new dawn. Oh, yeah? Okay, let's talk to Tamalik then. <clears throat> Welcome to my humble home. My name is Tamalik. I have awaited your awakening, Shady. Your long slumber has been disturbed to save our world from a powerful and evil called Dragonia. You will need a pure heart and mighty weapons to defeat this evil. I give you the Sword of Wind! Well, that was easy. We got one of the four swords immediately. Oh my goodness. Fantastic. We got a weapon. Talk to him again. There is another warrior magician like you that is not yet awakened. Her name is Messia. I fear Dragonia has captured her. You will meet wise magicians to aid you in your pursuit of Dragonia. Heed their words. I wish you luck, Shady. All right, so let's equip this bed. Okay, that's our save. That's how we save. We're going to save right now. Level one, yay! Uh, I definitely think that everyone should give this game a chance. So you are now using the Sword of Wind. So all I did to do that was I opened up my menu with select. And do I have any spells yet? No spells. We've got items, nothing. And we have no armor. Fantastic. Wait, can we talk to this chick? Does she give us money? I hope you wipe out Dragonia. Good luck, you're gonna need it. No, you don't give me money. Are you kidding me? You don't give me anything? Alright, well, we have a sword now. Let's see how we use sword. Alright, so I think A uses the sword. On my controller, it's B, but I could have set it up wrong. Let's see what's going on, bunny. Q, Q. Alright, thanks, man. Really appreciate the conversation. You are a true conversationalist. Have we gone in here yet? I am Zebu Star Student. He instructed me to give you 100 bucks. All right, sweet. That's who we get money from. I wish you the best of luck on your quest. That's awesome. Like, just look at this game. I, I'm sorry. I freaking love this game. I love this game. I love the feel of it. I love old school games. I'm surprised I didn't start doing retro games sooner on the channel. Uh, but just so you guys know, Pokemon's not going anywhere. Pokemon's going to be a consistent thing. Actually, I have really good news that I'm not going to share just yet. Well, I kind of want to share it. Uh, there's just a... Okay, should we increase our defense right away? I think we should. Uh, I'm probably getting my own place by the end of this month. So that's going to really help with our Pokemon content and Pokemon streams and, and and just all the content in general. So now we have a shield. Look at this. Oh, now we're a warrior. And look, if you charge up your sword, you get a nice little, and there's a one down there. Uh, spoilers, you can increase that, I believe, to three, maybe four. I'm not sure. This music. Oh my gosh, I need to just start using this in all my videos. All right, so I do know in this game, it, it plays like Zelda. Like even these creatures look a little bit like the the gooeys from Zelda. But there's a leveling, ow, 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 Tiger Boy. There's a leveling up. I don't know where I see my experience. Oh, experience, three out of 30, there we go. And I have 23 bucks. So all those coins that they drop is money. That is cash money that they're dropping down there. And they're also, you also get experience for every single kill. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of grinding. We're gonna do a little bit of grinding, man. I love games that you do grinding in though. I'm completely honest with you guys. I absolutely love grinding. I love grinding in video games. I don't know why. See, look, bop, bop, got it. 
So it definitely plays a lot like Zelda. It has a Zelda feel. Music-wise, uh, I don't think anything really, I don't think any game has anything on the Zelda soundtrack for music. But I'm gonna go back out here because I know that, there we go. Ow, ow, why weren't you here before? There we go. All right, so let's go ahead. I think there's three caves in this general area, but I really would like to level up before I go in one of them. because I feel like the caves are more dangerous. Like this is the beginner area, so I feel like caves definitely are a bit more troublesome. So I just want to gain one level, just one level of my purple shield. I love how everything's purple. Nappy would love this game. He's freaking purple! Should have named ourselves Gengar. True? True! All right, let's go into this cave over here, actually. Maybe, maybe there'll be some weak monsters in here that I don't have to don't have to stress about. I don't have to worry about it. It'd be really nice if if we go ahead. Oh, hold on, Tiger Man. Tiger Man, can you give me a level up? Can this Tiger Man give me a level up? Nope. Can this Tiger? That guy just literally came out of the tree. How many more do we need? Only three more experience. This Tiger should do the trick. Okay, or not. So each tiger only gives two experience. Oh my gosh, this music is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so there's no enemies in here. So I had nothing to worry about. Which, oh. Greetings, Shady. I am Zebu, one of the four magicians who summoned you to oppose the evil Draconia. His influence is vast, and we feared you may have fallen under his spell. To prove yourself, you are to perform certain tasks. By completing these tasks, you will prove you are pure of heart. Your first task is to repair the windmill. Return when it is done. So apparently if you're under the spell of Dragonia, you hate windmills and you want it to be broken. So just by fixing this windmill, I prove that I am pure of heart like Goku. So we're going to go ahead and take care of this in this episode, I think. I think we will. Uh, each of these episodes, by the way, I'm... Congratulations! You have gained a level. You are now level 2. Awesome, so it happens just like that as soon as you gain the level. I wonder how many experience is going to be needed. 60 to get to level 3 now. Oh boy. I, 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 I want these episodes to be around... And my attack is at 3, my defense is 2 to 4. So there's rolls every time you get hit. That's what I'm thinking, that it's a, it's a damage roll, like in Pokemon. But... These episodes should be around 20 minutes long each, uh, I think. And these LPs, like I said, they're going to be a lot shorter than standard LPs, most likely. At least, the, at least the Game Boy Color, like, it depends on the game, of course. But something tells me this this LP shouldn't go longer than, like, 14 episodes. So, we'll be able to do a lot of retro games on the channel. And to be honest with you, I plan on, like, kind of beating these games within, like, two or three days from when I start them. So that way I don't lose interest in them and I just get them done and uh, enjoy them completely. So, definitely leave your suggestions down below. I'm just so excited. I'm really excited to be doing this on the channel. I hope, I hope that you guys are excited too. I know it's kind of risky business. Uh, you now have the alarm flute. We found the alarm flute that they were talking about. Oh boy, that's awesome. So I'm not sure exactly what we got to do with that yet, but let's go ahead and keep killing these, these gosh darn oozes. And I know for a fact this game gets extremely challenging. Uh, there was no difficulty setting. That's because in older games, there usually wasn't any difficulty settings. Like, on, this is a Nintendo port, so very few Nintendo games had a difficulty setting. Although, uh, I believe Zelda, you could beat it and then get a harder setting. Come on, come on, come on! Uh, and of course, games like, games like Mario and Zelda aren't out of the question. Of course, they're not out of the question. However, uh, the, the closer you get to newer games, that's why I like retro games. Retro games usually don't get hit. Uh, on YouTube with copy like it's not gonna hurt the channel at all whereas if I do like Majora's Mask honestly I can't do it on the channel because Nintendo tells me no so uh, basically if I do it I get I get my channel gets the channel itself our channel goes away so that would be pretty devastating to me in more ways than one so we can't really have that that's why that's the only reason why we haven't done a Majora's Mask LP however I do have intentions of doing stuff like that on Twitch so even if you can't come to live streams, Twitch stores everything uh, in past broadcasts, so you'll be able to see them, even if they're not on YouTube. You don't need to sign up with Twitch, I don't think. Uh, although, I really, it would be awesome if you did, because then I mean, you could follow on Twitch and be alerted every time we stream. But it doesn't matter. We're just like, we're, we're totally, totally going off the beaten path right now. All right, we got the alarm flute. We went to the left cave, went to the right cave. Let's go to the middle cave. But I love killing tigers. I'm a tiger killing fiend. I'm a purple boy wearing tiger. Purple boy wearing? Oh no, that's not going to end well in the comment section. All right, let's go into this middle cave. This might be the best track so far. Oh, oh, oh. This is the Miller. He is fast asleep. He is fast asleep. We have something for that, don't we? Where is it? Where is it? Alarm flute. You are now using the alarm flute. Oh. Whoa! 
Oh, thanks a lot. I thought I was going to sleep forever. Here, take the windmill key. Use it to start the windmill. Wait, you're the miller. Why don't you start it? When the feeling of my legs come back, I'm heading back home to leave. So you're just going to go back home. You're not even going to start the windmill. All right, well, I guess it's our job. It's our job to take care of the windmill because this lazy miller, lazy miller. Here we go. Do I need to equip the key as well because this is an old game? I do have to equip the key as well. All right. The windmill begins to work. So the windmill works, the cave explodes because the windmill turns on. And here comes our friend. Shady, you have performed very admirably. Come visit me in my cave before you enter this new area. All right, well, he just teleports. And instead of, you know, telling me what he's got to tell me here, he just decides to say, come back to my cave. Because you know what? I own my turf and you're going to work on my rules. That is unacceptable. I don't like that. I don't appreciate that whatsoever. All right, all right, all right. I actually think for this LP, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear this this outfit the entire time. I think I'm going to choose one fancy outfit and wear it the entire LP. Yes, I will wash it. Uh, unless I record it all in a day, then I'm not going to wash it because that makes no sense. Why would I wash it if I did it all in one day? That makes no sense. I'm going to wear the clothes the whole time. I'm going to keep wearing them. I'm going to keep wearing them. And I'm never going to take them off. I'm always going to wear them. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, if these, if this episode is going to be, it's going to be pretty short, which is good. Uh, I kind of want these to be quicker videos for you guys. And if the support is there uh, down below, I know I don't ask usually anymore. I, well, I know I usually ask at the end. I don't ask in the beginning. Never mind. Hold on. More important stuff than just... You've done an excellent job, Shady. As a reward for saving the Miller from Dragonia's curse, I give you the spell of Refresh. Use this spell to heal yourself when you are injured. Your next task is to get rid of the sealed cave of the vampire. Return to Leaf in order to gather supplies for this dangerous task. All right, so you have learned the Refresh spell. So let's see what this Refresh, refresh spell is all about. You are now using the Refresh spell, which I'm guessing is my A. Yes, okay, and Refresh takes MP and heals my HP. All right, well, that is awesome. So it's basically a cure spell in Skyrim. This is basically the very first Skyrim. As far as I'm concerned, you get equips, you get spells. No game ever did that before Chrysalis, am I right? Okay, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna collect some money though before we go back to town to buy supplies because we're not trying to, we're not trying to go back poor. We're not trying to go back poor. I don't know how much money we actually have. We have $93, so barely enough, barely enough to do anything with. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and collect some more cash because I kind of want to buy it's it stinks I kind of want to buy some medicinal herbs in order to make sure we can stay healthy but at the same time I want to buy that armor because then we stay healthy anyway it looks like MP does not automatically recover in any regard no so maybe those are the kind of herbs we should buy I'd really like to buy that armor though oh I'd really like to buy that armor we have a hundred bucks exactly. All right, it's now or never. We got to make this decision. Do you want to buy this armor? Or do you want to buy some herbs? I feel like we should buy herbs. I feel like we can find herbs though. Don't you think? What do you got going on in here? Talk to me. Would you like to sell or appraise anything today? All right, so we can find items, I'm assuming. All right, you know what? If we can find items... If we can find items in this game, I'm sure that we'll find herbs before we find anything else. We already have this. So we can get a tanned hide and bring our defense up. Right? We go from two to four. We're gonna buy it. We're going with armor. We're broke. We're poor. We're dirt right now. We are dirt. We're dirt. All right, let's equip that. We got, ooh, we got the tanned hide. All right, so I think that's gonna about wrap this episode up for our very first Shady Goes Retro. Let's make sure we save. We're at level, we're only level two. We're only level two after one episode. Oh my gosh, this game's so amazing. All right, if you guys are excited, please go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. Let me know, do you like the purple guy? Are you excited for this series? Just leave a comment down below. Be a shady person. Don't forget to show some shady love to the like button if you're excited for Shady Goes Retro. Uh, give this game a chance. Definitely, I would suggest obtaining it in some fashion, whether it's on the eShop or what have you. Uh, however you could play this game, definitely play it. It's so much fun. If you like this style of game, be sure to leave suggestions for future uh, future games to play on Shady Goes Retro or Retro Shady uh, or Retro Plays. Whatever it's going to end up being in the title, you guys see it. We'll, we'll have it all sorted out. I love you guys so much, but I got to get the heck out of here. Have yourselves a good day, but above all else, keep it Shady.